Excellent. Now let's review which ultra wideband products from NXP are enabling the previously mentioned use cases. NXP ultra wideband products are gathered under the Trimension brand, a comprehensive, secure ultra wideband portfolio providing best in class secure and precise localization capabilities for automobile, mobile, and IoT applications. The Trimension SR150 and Trimension SR040 are two NXP products currently available for IoT applications. And these are the two products available in the MQ Ultra Wideband Kit. The Trimension SR150 has a dual RX capability which enables 2D and 3D angle of arrival computation. It can be connected to HLOC SEO51W secure element to enable secure ranging use cases example in access control that we've seen. It has support for RTOs and Linux-based host processor, and it has been developed in accordance with FIDA for FI and MAC layers. The second product for the IoT is called Trimension SR040. Uh, this product is specialized for battery-powered applications. It has power management unit able to be supplied from a coin cell battery, enable the battery lifetime of one year. It has on-chip uh, program memory for the download free booting and optimized for low power modes. And it also contains an integrated TXRX RF switch, influencing the bill of materials and making it suitable for low cost applications. As I was saying before, but a, a very important thing to consider here is that these products are offered to the market by NXP through module partners. This enables end customers to easily integrate and adopt ultra wideband technology into their solutions. We will explain later how you can use the MK Ultra Wideband Kit to evaluate those modules and designing ultra wideband into your solution. The next section is a couple of reference architectures for ultra wideband developments. When deploying IoT ultra wideband solution, the typical system topology consists of two main elements anchors and tags or mobile devices, as you can see here for many use cases. An ultra-wideband tag is typically a battery power device that emits ultra-wideband signals, and an ultra-wideband anchor is typically a fixed device that is able to perform ranging and AOA measurements against other anchors or tags. The combination of ultra-wideband tags and ultra-wideband anchors is what enables all kinds of ultra-wideband based use cases, from meet and tracking, access control or indoor navigation. Let's now have a reference, uh, a look into the reference architecture for an ultra wideband anchor. Within the MK Ultra Wideband Kit, we are delivering the MK Ultra Wideband Shield. The MK Ultra Wideband Shield is a flexible platform to develop custom ultra wideband solutions and serves as a reference design of an ultra wideband anchor. It is equipped with a QN9090 Bluetooth Low Energy System on Chip being used as an application processor with more than 100k bytes of memory available for customer code. Through its header and pinouts, it can support Trimension SR0, SR150 or SR040 ultra wideband modules, support for uh, secure ranging through SEO51, and peripheral interfaces for connection of buttons, LEDs, or other UI elements and more importantly, can be controlled by an external MCU through the Arduino Uno compatible expansion headers. Let me show now the reference architecture for an ultra wideband tag. Within the MK Ultra Wideband Kit, we are delivering an SR040 tag based reference design. The SR040 tag from NXP Semiconductor is a small form factor reference design of an ultra wideband tag. It is equipped with a QN9090 Bluetooth Low Energy System on Chip being used as an application processor with more than 100k bytes of memory available for customer code. Features the SR040 Ultra Wideband Controller and includes a motion sensor uh, to enable motion related use cases for battery optimization. It is power optimized to run with a single coin cell battery and it is integrated with a TXRE switch for fine ranging and ready to use for ultra wideband tracker and TDOA tag use cases. We've seen that in both 
reference design for both Anchor and uh, Attack. Uh, we they share the, the same common host controller. So let's have a quick look into the host controller, powering up both reference design. And they are both powered through uh, QN9090 Bluetooth Low Energy System on chip from NXP. This is a fully integrated hardware and software power optimized solution for Bluetooth Low Energy from NXP Semiconductor based on ARM Cortex M4 architecture and includes 640 kilobytes of flash and 152K of SRAM plus numerous peripherals and inputs and outputs. Through MCU Expresso tools, NXP is delivering certified BLE stacks and production ready software to get you started quickly. Yeah? And you can find more information about QN1990 at NXP website as well as with the MK Ultra Wideband Kit.